feel like Vada Fly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the John bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. We you start rapping like that. You gon' fall so many times, I'm glad you get back up I saw so many niggas dying, had to get strapped up I'm sensitive, I'm off the henny, don't you get clapped up If you told you no the cold, you don't get dapped up Zero to a hundred, so who won it? I done pulled out on stick up kids like, no, you run it I done push shit back I done push shit You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification game, what's poppin' with the population? Salute to my guy, Showtime SP Uh... Salute to the riot, salute to Geechee Gotti, salute to all of the MCs that was on Division, an event that went down on Twitch, you know what I'm saying, King of the Dot stream picked it up for Twitch, it was a lot of battles on the card, I'm gonna be honest, in order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest, um, I didn't see every single battle on the card, uh, I definitely saw some of them, by the time I actually found out it was on the Twitch stream, I had missed already a couple battles, I had missed my man G-Lo versus Fate, I heard, from what I heard, I heard, I heard that was a good battle. I heard G-Lo showed out and showed and proved and did his thing. Uh, I did catch up with Real Name Brandon versus Chef Trez. Now, Real Name Brandon versus Chef Trez was actually a really good battle. I liked uh, Real Name Brandon. He had to, you know, he was talking about the grandma, you know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up with my grandma, so when I hear him talking about the grandma angles and then his grandma told him to do this, and grandma told me to do that, and then he had a fire line like, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. that mean Debo coming, that shit was fire. I liked the battle overall. Um, I did have Chef Tress 2-1, close battle. I did like it a lot though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, KD versus Young Grizz. I was in and out of that battle. They both did their thing, but from what I seen, they both did their thing. Uh, both had, uh, KD had a lot of bars in there. He was actually wilding. He had some shit. Uh, and I know Young Grizz had a, out, had a line. He said something like, uh, something about your pitch. He said, because he was talking about the pitch in KD's voice. I tweeted it too. He said something like, <laughs> He said, your pitch throws me off like the Astros cheating or some shit like that. That was crazy. That was a crazy. The pitch throws me off. The pit, your cheating pitch, your pitch is off like that. It was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, good battle overall. Uh, I did see Ratchet versus LL Cool G. LL Cool G 30. Just, just 30. I don't know what Ratchet was rapping. What you was rapping about, my nigga? I don't know. Like, I, I just got lost in your shit. Uh, you gotta tighten it up a little bit. Um... But LL Cool G was LL Cool G. Um, it's good to see him start to get some looks, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know he promotes himself well. Uh, he's been trying to, you know, really put on for Milwaukee. And I, it was good to see LL Cool J. <laughs> LL Cool J. LL Cool J. LL Cool G. Cool G LL in his bag doing his thing. And I know y'all want to know about the A Ward and Coffee Brown and why it ain't happening and all that. But let me run through these battles right quick. I got you, niggas. I, I spoke. To who I need, I, I, I got something for it. Don't, don't you niggas even worry about it. My body will work, or body will work. Anyway, I've been on that lemon water and, uh, and ginger. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the gym and shit. Just want to let y'all know healthy life. So let's get it right. So, um, Dev the Demon versus Franchise. Um, they both had wild aggression and wild energy. Like, Franchise is franchise. You know, the don't shut up, the don't shut up. Like, you, like, you can't listen to this battle with the volume all the way up. Like, this is a, a franchise can never, like, like battle with, you can't, like, listen to this battle. You gotta, like, turn the battle down halfway in order to listen, because these niggas' volume was so loud. Like, this nigga was, like, he was barking. <laughs> Dev the Demon was too. Uh, the battle to me is highly debatable, man. I personally have Franchise 2-1. I've seen people saying Dev the Demon 3-0. I, I don't know. I, maybe I'm lost. I, I'm sorry. I, it is what it is. But from what I saw, uh, I feel like Franchise got the first. I feel like Dev got the second. And I feel like Franchise edged the third. I mean, am I bugging? I don't know. Who, who knows? Uh, and this is, these ain't even in order or whatever the case may be. I'm be honest with you. These ain't even in order. But... Um, that L.I. Mayor versus Moon, yo. I'm 
fuck with Moon, yo. Like, for real, dog. I rock with L.I. the mayor, like... OG me? Nigga, I'm an OTG. That's the original tiny gangster. if you don't know these streets. And I'm playing. L.I. the mayor is my man. Like, it goes beyond battle rap. When I was in L.A. Uh, a year or so ago, I, you know, Geechee, I fuck with Geechee, but L.I. the mayor is my man. So with L.I. the mayor, I got locked up. And whenever I would talk to Geechee, I would always check on L.I. the mayor. Ask is L.I. the mayor good, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. He got out, he battled Gluezy, he thirdly'd him. And now he's battling against Moon. So I was definitely had an interest in it because I got a lot of respect for L.I. the Man and what he does, you know what I'm saying? He always ran with Geechee, that's Geechee's homie. You know what I'm saying? He from like, he's from that, he's from that cloth. You know what I'm saying? Like L.I. the Man is definitely with all of that shit. And to see him battling and to see like the riot putting him in a position. And first of all, salute to the riot, you know what I'm saying? Like the riot and everything that they doing, you know what I'm saying? Like with the battle culture. I must say that uh, the West Coast is putting on, the West Coast is, in, is doing a lot for battle rap. In 2020, the West Coast has been doing a lot. And I will talk about that more in this blog as it progresses or whatever the case may be. But I will, I got criticism too. I'm just saying I do have criticisms. But when heavy is the head that holds the crown, equal praise, equal criticism. The way I look at you guys, I look at you guys as up and coming league, the same way I look at the bullpens building their roster, the this league's building their talent, and et cetera, et cetera. There's some shit that if a battle doesn't go down, a main event, we got to, we got to have that conversation. I got to keep it a whole stack with you, but, but let's just keep it going. So, uh, Moon is just Moon, man. Like, like to, he says, uh, <laughs> I don't pull that on stick up kids like no you run it like he that's what he do man like that's just the old head moon that OG slick talk uh I got moon winning this battle 2-1 uh and this is no bias involved uh you know moon said uh he said something like like when this battle is gonna be like when I was fighting drugs his feet up in the air like it's gonna be up in the air or some shit we all know moon with the woo wop the woo 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 wop we, we know about that um, I just, I just like what Moon does, man, like, and I like what L.I. the Mayor had, L.I. the Mayor had some shit, but when you're talking to somebody that's as slick as Moon, like, to be Moon's age, Moon might definitely be the oldest battle rap nigga, like, when them niggas first say, yo, we gonna start this shit called battle rap, Moon was, like, the first nigga there, like, Moon is, like, Moon is mad old, he, like, ice age, pop age, like, Moon is, like, social security eligible, you know what I'm saying, like, Moon is just one of them old niggas. But he got bars and he be wildin' on niggas and like he spits that OG crack shit that the young old that the young G's could feel as an OG, but he 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 just he just mixes it all up. I fuck with what Moon does. But L.I. the Mayor had a um had a good showing. There's gonna be people that feel like L.I. the Mayor won. I do remember on the fan vote when the when the polls and shit was over, they had uh they had Moon winning. So I'm not bugging with that. Um Where we at, where we at? Cali Smooth versus Loso. Uh, Cali Smooth versus Loso was a very interesting battle. Ichi, I see why you booked me against a dude who's lyrical, saw me kill Ryder in a silk shirt, and knew I can body smooth material. Let's get the... Because I never really watched a lot of Cali Smooth's battles. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, it is what it is. It, it just didn't do it for me. Like, I'm sorry. I know he's a West Coast, uh, West Coast legend. I get it, man. But I don't know. It just didn't do it for me. But in this battle, I must say... Yo, that nigga was wildin', son. Like, he had some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Cali Smooth impressed me. Uh, his second round was crazy. I had Loso winning the first round. I had Loso winning the second round. But Cali Smooth's second and third round, that nigga was wildin'. It's closer than a lot of people may give it. And I've seen people out there actually giving the battle to Cali Smooth. And I ain't mad at that. And I'm looking off this because I'm revisiting it and thinking of the material. Like, Cali Smooth was bugging on Loso. Like, Loso was definitely in a, a tough, tough, tough competition with that shit. Uh, he came out with the plaque at the end. You know what I'm saying? Loso had a plaque because uh, he said that Cali Smooth had took, like, somebody else's streams or some shit. I don't know. It was a good battle. That's a very interesting battle, and that's definitely one of the battles from this card that has some replay value, like major replay value. Motherfuckers is gonna watch that shit. Uh, Ron Compton versus Jack, I had missed that. Bobby Pre Bobby Lee versus Primo, I had missed that, because I, I, I was trying to put people to sleep. Like, I'm putting kids to sleep and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's getting late on the East Coast. I had to miss a couple joints, and I was trying to come back in, 
for the A-War versus Coffee Brown. I'm checking for the A-War versus Coffee Brown. I'm like, yo, man, I can't miss that, you know what I'm saying? It's the biggest faces on the flyer. You know what I'm saying? We look at the motherfucking flyer, they dead smack in the middle. I'm like, I can't miss this one. I got to see this one, big baby. Zoom in, zoom in, let's zoom in to get the win. I'm like, I can't miss that one. Not Coffee Brown versus A-Ward. I got to see this one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we finally zoomed in. Okay. I'm like, yeah, I got to see that. I guess at the end of the battle, they announced that Coffee Brown versus A-Ward was not having them. So, you know, the net of the enter was starting to go into an uproar. Like, yo, we are here for this. What are we doing? This is the battle that we're here for. Like, why are we not seeing Coffee Brown versus A-Ward? So, uh... A-Ward did address the fact that the battle didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he put out a couple tweets, uh, somebody was saying he was getting paid, and the A-Ward said, yeah, I'm getting paid in full regardless, it's not about the money. People invested hours of their weekend tuning in to support yesterday, they deserve the content. Yes, I watched, I supported, I was staying on the stream whole goddamn night, watching some niggas I never even heard of, to, to, to get to the A-Ward versus Coffee Brown, and we never got there. Uh, so, Kofi Brown puts out uh, uh, a tweet, said, last night's business didn't work out. This business already done, February 6th, Flint, Michigan, and then she puts out herself on a card called Niggas vs. Bitches vs. JC. I can't make this shit up. Niggas vs. Bitches. Not ladies vs. gents, not kings vs. queens, not fellas vs. gals, niggas vs. bitches. Uh, she put her, she's on a card battling against JC. Uh, so a war comments and says, wow, I know we're not friends, but you could have at least hit me or someone on the side. I had my people flying from New York, left family the weekend before Christmas and a pandemic to put on for the culture. Enjoy your battle with JC, but yeah, this is super trash. Happy holidays. Now, I know y'all are wondering, why didn't this battle happen? So, you know, I got a relationship with a lot of people and I hear things behind the scenes, whatever the case may be, and I know people be like, oh... We don't like the bloggers. We don't fuck with them niggas. Trust me. When something like this happens, they are sending information to you ASAP because they know them cameras is coming on and niggas is going to be commenting and, and asking why some shit didn't happen. So let's just get right to the bottom of it. So, um, Coffee Brown, fresh off of her situation with Miss Miami, um, you know, that battle didn't go the way it was supposed to go. Flag comes out. Uh, where's Stamp bag, Coffee Brown dude gets involved, it's a little scuffle and shit. So now she's moving into a battle with A-Ward, who, you know, is, it has nothing to do with no situation like that. We all know A-Ward, Christian battle rapper, he's not gonna bring no, he's not bringing nothing that don't need to be brought. But, Coffee Brown has issues with people who are in the building. Like, she's notably had issues with said rappers RX, SO Finesse, and from what I'm hearing, somebody in one of those crews has a restraining order against her, and she's told, she, she, she got the word out that these chicks tried to jump her in the past, and that if, she, if, if they're all in the same place at the same time where there's smoke, it could be fire. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation, but from what, I'm, from what I received, you could take it for what it's worth, or you could put my word in dirt is that Coffee Brown did not want to be in the same building with people that she had issues with because shit was going to go left, left quicker than a NASCAR race. And then with somebody having a restraining order on her, she's going to get arrested and et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that shit get too far ahead of you. I think it's highly unfortunate because A-Ward, who has nothing to do with this situation, flew all the way from Kansas to motherfucking West Coast in Compton and didn't get to battle. Uh, that the league, league, I rock with the right, but y'all gotta control that situation. You cannot have people in the building that you know one of your main events has an issue with. You gotta tell them motherfuckers, they gotta go outside, and watch that shit in the parking lot, especially if there's gonna be an issue with one of the main events. Now, like I said, you can take my word for what it's worth, or you can put it in dirt. But I'm telling you what I received from credible sources, including one of the artists, Coffee Brown herself saying that this is why it didn't happen. Not bad business as far as money or as far as nothing like that. It's just putting herself in a position where she's going to be winding up getting into a scuffle where she told me that people tried to jump her twice, not once, but twice, and coming off of a situation with Miss Miami, coming off of a situation like it's just a negative outlook all around. And if you push somebody, you force their hand, something's going to happen. So, league, got to make sure your main event 
the two biggest people on the fly, the two biggest names on the fly, you got to make sure that battle goes down. It just has to go down. It cannot, that battle cannot not go down over some dumb shit like uh, fucking people in the building that they have beef with and shit like that. Like, you, you know, you got to, you got to control the situation, man. But, um, you know, dope event overall. Uh, it was, it was good. It was definitely good. I really didn't have much going on. It was a Sunday and to watch some dope battles. The Loso performance was good. Uh, I love seeing Moon. Whenever I can watch Moon, listen, Moon's battles live rent free inside my head. So whenever he's battling, if he's on the card, I'm going to watch. Um, salute to the riot. Make sure your main events happen. I'm just saying, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll, 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 we'll keep on going. Uh, and watching your battles and supporting your league and moving y'all up on the pepping, pecking order. And for till then, I'm just going to take my ginger shots and drink my lemon water. Salute to the West Coast. Uh, salute to everybody out there, man. I fuck with the West Coast. Yeah, dig. I'm gone. Make sure your main events happen, though. You gon' fall so many times, I'm glad you get back up I saw so many niggas die and had to get strapped up I'm sensitive, I'm off the Henny, don't you get clapped up If you told you know the code, you don't get dapped up